So we've got a new highest earner. Now this is just a quick one, just before I go to work. As you see, I've got my laptop here with the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna talk first about the Dior One highs. Now they aren't the same pair that we got in shop one. So the original pair were released as part of shop one, but this new pair, they're a totally different shoe. They cost 100 gold aglet more. The earn rate is considerably more. It's gone from 280 to 450. The durability has stayed the same. Its tier is still the same and the repairs are still the same. But because of that increase in its earn rate, the shoe now earns in one wear over 25K more aglet. And the total possible profit from the shoe is over 100K aglet more. So if you have a tier two dead stock station, these are uh, new Dior highs. I'd probably recommend going for them, to be honest, because they earn you more than the MCAs did. Gel Light a Fuse, the Chicago's, uh, fair enough the Chicago's were cheaper. And the Red October's back when they came out only earned a little bit more, but they cost over 150 gold aglet more, so. And now the other shoe, the one that most of you are probably gonna end up getting, the Dior Low. And like I said at the start of the video, it's the new highest earner. Now obviously the shoe is probably out of quite a few people's budgets, especially if they've just bought a pair of De La Soles. De La Soles, still a great shoe. Grind all your pairs if you've bought a load, I know I will be doing. But with that new base earn rate of over a thousand aglet per thousand steps, it's absolutely unrivaled in the regular aglet shoe earnings. Like it's just way ahead of the league. Now, granted, the durability is 12 higher than the De La Soles, but you earn roughly 9,000 more aglet with the Dior Lows than you did with the De La Soles. So your total profit from the Dior One Lows is probably going to be about 28, 29,000 aglet. Now, it's probably up for debate which is best because you may burn through a De La Soles faster than you would a Dior Low, which could earn you profit back faster. I'm not too sure, but my spidey senses are tingling and I'm gonna say that the Dior Lows are probably better if you're dead stocking. Now, I haven't even looked at the Aglet Sneaker Shine, but I'm gonna guess it's not worth it because the Sneaker Shine costs so much for a tier three Sneaker Shine. I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess that the best bang for your buck for Sneaker Shine is still the Aglet One Highs. So if that's your method, Aglet One High, still grind that. But yeah, that's probably it. Just a real short update video. I'm gonna carry on making my lunch for work because uh, I'm heading off in an hour. So I need to go. See ya.